And now we're going to check on the weather conditions here in Korea and around the world with our Kelly Park at the Weather Center. Good morning, Kelly. Hello, Yusan, and good morning. Well, we've been having shorts and t-shirt weather for four executive days as we've been enjoying a typical weather of early July. And now today, as we celebrate Parents' Day here in Korea, uh, we're expecting a big warm-up ahead with great conditions uh, to spend time with family and friends. But first off, we are dealing with some patchy dense fog lingering in areas, especially in the west coast and the inland locations, so do watch out for some low visibility out there. Uh, skies will clear up as temperatures rise up into the 20s, show, showing clear clear sunny skies for the rest of the day but make sure to carry out a light jacket with you because temperatures will rapidly drop in the evening hours but tomorrow we'll be expecting another warmer day uh, we're expecting another welcoming shower across the nation starting from the uh, Thursday continuing into Friday nationwide so keep that in mind and moving over to our satellite map uh, currently the high pressure is situated over in the east coast providing us with clear blue skies across the nation but lots of clouds will be lingering over in the Jeju Island. And finally, check out on today's readings. Morlows in Seoul will start off at 13 and rise up to 25 degrees. Daegu and Gwangju will both jump to a high of 27, and Busan will make it to 22. Other regions like Jeju Island will be seeing lots of clouds throughout the day. Daejeon hits 28, and Mount Kumgang will be topping out at 20 degrees. And that's all for Korea, and here's the international weather for viewers around the world.